in a jail cell back in August. According to the sheriff's office, one deputy is on administrative leave because of this incident. Take a look at the screen right now. This is one of the moments that investigators are looking at. You can see a sheriff's deputy grab an inmate's arms, pulling them upwards from behind before slamming that inmate against the bunk bed. The sheriff in a statement last week said he was disturbed by some of the actions he witnessed in these videos. K2's Kelly Azar is live in Vancouver. Kelly, there was a delay in this investigation. There certainly was, and that's something else Sheriff Atkins brought up in his statement to us last week, is that this was not properly reviewed as it should have been. Instead, policy was ignored. It should have been looked at relatively quickly, but it was not, which is why when Sheriff Atkins did get to see it himself, he sent it off for a third party to investigate. The video can be difficult to watch. From the inside of the jail cell, a deputy can be seen speaking to an inmate before another deputy lunges at the inmate with a hand around his neck, slamming him into the bed frame. This happened on August 13th, just after 6.30 in the morning. As the altercation ensues, the inmate repeatedly slammed against a bed frame, his arms being lifted up from behind. Seven months later, we are learning a third party has conducted an independent investigation, which has now been turned over to the Clark County Prosecuting Attorney's Office. According to the Sheriff's Office, initially the video was not reviewed immediately. But once it got to the Sheriff, Sheriff Atkins said, quote, Upon being notified of this incident, I viewed the video and was very troubled by what I observed. I know the importance of not jumping to conclusions or prejudging an incident based upon video alone. I did, however, order the matter be immediately referred to an outside agency for a criminal investigation. The sheriff's office says, quote, it was believed the uses of force were possibly excessive and in the first instance, at least potentially criminal. As the video plays on, you can see a struggle between the deputies and inmate as time goes by. This area of the jail, according to the sheriff's office, is maximum security for violent inmates, inmates with behavioral issues, and an area for inmates on suicide watch. Towards the end, a tether is placed around the inmate's wrist where he is cuffed. From there, deputies from the outside pull that tether through the door, yanking until the inmate's arms are seen coming through a small opening in the door. After he is uncuffed, the inmate is seen in his cell, rubbing his wrists before eating his breakfast. So the use of that tether is part of this investigation. We have learned that the Pierce County Sheriff's Office has turned that investigation over to the Clark County Prosecuting Attorney, who is currently investigating that independently to, de to determine whether or not there should be charges.